looking for I mean damn I'll be back by four R to Amsterdam You know we pump those brakes You know we don't take breaks Fuck with it you're just great from P R to Amsterdam You know we pump those brakes You know we don't take breaks Fuck with it you're just great Imagine you're someone who has aspirations, ambitions and goals. You get up every day thinking what it would be like to achieve those goals. However, you never had the bravery to step out of your comfort zone to go about achieving those goals. Now imagine you meet someone who like you has aspirations, ambitions and goals. They get up every day and go about making those goals a reality. Furthermore, that person is always putting himself in uncomfortable situations in the hope that one day it will pay dividends. Now, if you're person one, how are you going to feel about person two? Of course, you're going to resent him. And this is why when you're out there doing your thing, people will hate on you, mock you, and try to talk you out of achieving your goals. It's coming from a place of scarcity. You succeeding will reinforce the fact that they're failures and they don't want that. These people tell you to just go get a steady job. They'll say to you, what if you fail? Or so-and-so tried and they couldn't succeed. Or who do you think you are to think you can do that? All of this is misery, love's company, shaming tactics. If their lives were different, the subsequent advice they would be giving you would also be different. They find your ambition offensive. In reality, it's actually somewhat selfish from their point of view. However, from your point of view, you shouldn't care at all. As an achiever, it's not your responsibility to lower your success for the benefit of others. It's not your fault they lack the heart, bravery and courage that you so clearly possess. So don't let those who talk themselves out of achieving their goals talk you out of achieving your goals and being the best that you can be. We all know what happened, okay? My thing is, is I'm trying to get your side of the story. You realize you did it right in front of somebody. On their way back from the restaurant, Hardin and his family were stopped at a roadblock and Hardin was taken into the police station for questioning. A very serious criminal matter, okay? okay? And right now you're a potential suspect in that. I, I don't understand why I'm a suspect, no. Well, that's for me to know and for you to tell me why you're not a suspect. This is your time to kind of help us help you. Harding doesn't know what the detectives have, but since he's not free to go, he knows he must have something. It's clear that he wants to see what the detectives have, while simultaneously revealing nothing to them, which the detectives are not prepared to do. This has currently led to the subsequent stalemate that is currently occurring. Okay. You Tell me right. this. Uh, I, oh, wait, I, I do apologize just... on the no. no, no, no. I know you were a police officer before, <sighs> right? You're you're a police officer in in Gravit. I mean, not Gravit, but in Gateway. It's an easy yes or no. I, I'm being silent. Well, I can see that. Where do you live at? We can do this all night. I mean, it doesn't bother me. You're going to continue to be a suspect until I find out otherwise. Okay.
take break. 